Now, this is video from Tehran, and it shows missiles being intercepted by anti-aircraft fire early this morning. Uh, the Iranian army says that two of its soldiers were killed in the attacks. The Israeli military said it hit, quote, precise military targets and did not include energy infrastructure. It also said that the strikes against Iran are over. We conducted targeted and precise strikes on military targets in Iran, thwarting immediate threats to the state of Israel. The Israel Defense Forces has fulfilled its mission. If the regime in Iran were to make the mistake of beginning a new round of escalation, we will be obligated to respond. The White House said that it was not involved with the Israeli attack and responded to news of the strikes by urging Iran to not further escalate. What's up, y'all? Look, I know it's been a while since I came to you with content, but uh, I'm going to get right to it because... Israel is right now attacking Iran. Um, it was a limited strike, apparently, just hitting military bases. Of course, Israel is going to say that they did a whole, whole bunch and they kicked Iran's ass and they, and they struck some serious blows. But Iran is saying it wasn't really that bad. They just struck some military targets. And it's really sounding like Iran might not even um, retaliate. And this might be it. Um, as you heard, the IDF uh, spokesperson, they even said that, hey, if Iran doesn't uh, uh, respond or if, uh, uh, um, um, yeah, the IDF spokesperson said if Iran doesn't respond, then then they're good. Then there there's no, nothing for them to. Uh, uh, nothing else will happen in this war. There won't be any more escalations, but I don't know. It's always been, oh, there's no more escalations. Then, oh, there's this other thing that happens. Oh, then Israel bombs this place. Then Israel bombs Yemen. Then Israel uh, is bombing uh, Syria. And then Israel is bombing Jordan. And it, it, this war is expanding way, way beyond where any American, where anybody wants. American, Israel, Israeli, Palestinian doesn't matter. This war is getting to a place where we are really looking down the barrel of World War III. I know each side is trying to bluster and they're trying to put their big chest forward to make it seem like oh, we're the strongest, we're the best, and we're the sole superpower of the world. But being a superpower doesn't mean you have to be the biggest bully. And right now, um, America is making it seem like we're the biggest bully in the world. And that's not cool. It's not cool at all. So, I don't know what this means, especially for the election. Because Kamala is saying, oh, there's no fucking change. And Donald Trump is saying that uh, Israel needs to just finish the job. So, I guess there really isn't going to be any change, no matter who's president. Right? I want there to be a change and I want our country to not be paying for a genocide. Is that too much to ask for? Is that really too much to fucking ask for? Because it is complete and total bullshit that we have to watch our tax dollars go to 2,000 pound bunker buster bomb to be dropped on children. This war is expanding at a fucking crazy pace and if we as Americans, as people, can't get a hold of our government and rein them in and get them to understand that we do not want a genocide. We want our tax dollars to actually go towards helping American people, not defending another nation's borders, not killing kids, but to actually help people, the American people. That is what our tax dollars need to be going towards. Maybe one fucking day that might actually happen. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated um, on everything that's happening in this war. But right now, uh, America is saying that they, of course, didn't have anything to do with it. Um, they had no knowledge that, Iran, that Israel was going to be doing this. Fucking bullshit. Um, uh, 
when Israel launched um, that devastating strike in Lebanon, Netanyahu gave the go-ahead from uh, um, the White House. So, the White House has been lying to us and obfuscating the issue the whole time and backing Netanyahu. Because if you keep saying, no, you don't want this to happen, no, you don't want this to happen, no, you don't want this to happen, you don't want this to expand, you don't want kids to die, you don't want uh, Israel bombing all these other countries, but you keep giving them money and weapons and they keep bombing all these other countries and you seemingly do absolutely fucking nothing, then why should they fucking stop? Why should they actually change their behavior in any way, shape, form, or fashion? Unless we as Americans, the one who are, uh, our government is the one who is bankrolling this, decides to, hey, we're going to put our foot down and stop this. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe one motherfucking day it will happen. But as of right now, it's not happening. And Joe Biden is just so fucking weak. Joe Biden sucks. Plain and simple. Uh, he is weak and just cucked to Israel. Fucking, he came out and said he was a goddamn Zionist. He cares, does not care about actually being there for what the American people stand for. He is a ideological Zionist that believes that Israel should be the strongest power in the Middle East and if they destroy all their neighbors and take all their land, fuck it, so be it. Why should I care? Uh, Palestinians are less than humans. They're the only people on this planet that don't that can't govern themselves because they're too savage. They're not. They're not. You know, uh, uh, like us. They're not like regular people. They're beneath us. It's fucking gross how Palestinians are treated and how they are subhuman in the eyes of our government and in the eyes of uh, Israel. They have a voice, they deserve to be heard, and they deserve to have their own state. And we, as an American people, need to make sure our government hears that, understands that, and understands that the American people are willing to fight for that and against what this government is peddling by forcing down our throats that Israel is right in every single facet of this war. After almost almost shit and some counts over 50,000 dead Hamas is only supposed to be 40,000 strong we're like 10,000 past that we one day are going to look back and realize how gross disgusting and wrong our government was and we were for allowing this genocide to happen plain and simple um that's all I got for you guys right now. Um, I love you guys. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on everything that's going on in this war. Like I said before, um, I'm going to keep coming back to you guys. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, everything. And remember, it's a great day.